Today let's talk about Clipper firmware. Clipper is a 3D printer firmware. It combines the power of a general purpose computer with one or more microcontrollers. It helps you print faster and better. This video will show you how to build a Clipper firmware. What we use is a project called FluidEDPy. First, go to docs.fluid.zi. It will show you everything you need to know. Go to the download page. Find the latest image and download it. Then we use the software we installed in the last video. Click, use custom, and choose the image. Press the key to preset Wi-Fi. On Windows Control Shift X, on Mac Command Shift X. Don't forget to enable SSH and remember the password. We will use SSH later. Set your Wi-Fi, it cannot be 5G. The rest setting could remain as default. After choosing storage you can start flash. Meanwhile, you can check the configuration page. Since we have preset the Wi-Fi, we can use the link directly. Once you set up the Pi, you can visit http colon slash slash fluid dpi dot local. Just make sure all your devices are at the same Wi-Fi. It should take you to the FluidEDPi dashboard. If it doesn't work, go to the router dashboard. Find the IP of FluidPi. Once you enter the dashboard, scroll down to the bottom. Update everything to the latest. It should take a while. Once you finished, you can go next step. Enter sshpi at fluidedpi's IP. Enter the password you just set. Enter cd tilde clipper. Enter export lc underscore all equals n underscore gb. UTF-8 for Mac users. Then enter make menu config. Enable extra low-level configuration options. Set the microcontroller architecture as ST Micro Electronics STM32. Set the bootloader offset as 28 kibibytes. Set the communication interface as USART3PB11 per petabyte 10. Enter the last option. Enter PC6, PD13 and press Enter key. Then press Q and Enter, yes. After that, the setup is done. Enter, make, it will start to build the firmware. It will take some time. Once you see, clipper.bin, you're successful. Then enter, slash script slash update underscore mks underscore robin dot pi, slash out slash clipper dot bin, slash out slash robin underscore nano dot bin. Then enter, cp out slash robin underscore nano dot bin tilde, fluid. Your firmware is all set. Back to the first step, if you don't want to find out the IP address, you can try entering, sshpi at fluiddpi.local, instead. Go to the dashboard, enter, http colon slash slash fluiddpi.local slash robin underscore nano dot bin, to download the firmware. Put the bin file into SD card, then turn on the printer to flash it. Once you see this, you are all set. The black screen will be okay. Then you are able to go use Clipper firmware on Kingroon KP3S. It's a powerful tool for your printer. You can always flash the stock firmware back. Next time we will show you how to configure Clipper to print. That's all for today, happy 3D printing.